Alright, to start off the list. Okay, there was a crap load of incredible fighters on the Dreamcast. No, I think it's one of the best four fighting games ever, really. There was uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Power Stone, Virtua Fighter 3, freaking Soul Calibur. I couldn't decide between this and Soul Calibur. In the end, I went for Dead or Alive 2. I don't know, there's just something about it. No, not that. Alright. But it's just an incredibly fun, awesome fighter. And at the time when I popped this in my dream, because I was like, this is a fucking game. It still looks great to this day, like. And so I'm going to put it at number 10. Uh, Dead or Alive 4 on Xbox 360 is still one of my favourites, actually. Uh, but yeah. So in terms of fighters on Dreamcast, I'm gonna have to go with this. Sorry Soul Calibur, I love you all, but this wins. Right, now I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, wait a minute, this music isn't from Crazy Taxi. Well, that's because this is a song from another great Dreamcast game, which unfortunately didn't make the list in. I felt this was the best way I could mention it. Plus, if I used any of the music from this game, I probably would have got taken down and I got, would have gotten in loads of trouble. But yeah, Crazy Taxi, another one of my great favourites. Perfect port of a great arcade game, just miles and miles of fun, you know? Gone about collecting fares and taking customers and all that. You wouldn't think this would be a great game, but it is. It's, um, it's crazy! Yeah, good game. Number nine. Awesome. Now here is a right gem from my childhood right here, you know. I loved this game, you know. Toy Commander, it was just... It was really, really fun with four players anyway. You were basically like a group of toys that went around to the house, doing missions, chasing after all the evil toys in the house, right? Yeah, I suppose it was basically Toy Story meets, uh, I don't know, some multiplayer game, but it was just loads and loads of fun. Uh, not one that holds up fantastic by today's standards, admittingly. You know, it does feel a bit clunky, you know, that I went back to it, but the memories it's given me are amazing, you know? And I was really damn good at this. I used to own my brothers at this, and they'd stop playing me at it. But it's still a, it's still one that means a lot to me, and I'm putting it at number eight. I gotta say, actually, looking back on this game, House of the Dead definitely was a series that was just so bad it was good, wasn't it? Why do I think that now? Well, House of the Dead uh, Overkill on the Wii pretty much confirms it, doesn't it? But that doesn't change how much I just much I just fell in love with this friggin' game. I used to have the light gun and everything, I'd shoot the crap out of everything, oh it was great. Uh, good co-op mode. Uh, what else? An incredibly uh, intriguing storyline with fantastic presentation and voice acting. Unbelievable, unparalleled to any other game on ever made. And that's the truth right there, like. But yeah. Okay, yeah. House of the Dead House of the Dead 2, not overkill. House of the Dead 2, friggin' awesome. Loved it. I gotta be honest, I've never been like a big, huge Resident Evil fan, but this one I just friggin' adored, you know. Not necessarily because it was the only one, the only one built specifically for Dreamcast, but it's just overall a friggin' masterpiece, you know. Scary, atmospheric, you know. A lot of things about this game that I think Resident Evil's lost over the years, you know. Uh, and it's definitely one. It's one of the best-selling Dreamcast games as well. Still one of the best looking, and just fun, 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 and scary, scary, scary. What more do you want in a Resident Evil game? Many consider it the last Resident Evil, people think 4 went from away from the formula too much. I'm sort of semi in that field, but either way, this is definitely my favourite Resident Evil, and it's my sixth favourite Dreamcast game, absolutely. Alright, 
I've talked about this game a couple of times on a couple of lists already, so not really much I can say that I haven't said already. I mean, Jet Set Radio is just a really, really fun skating, platformer sort of game, spring graffiti and all that. One of the first games to use cell shaded graphics, just loads and loads of friggin' fun, you know? And it's one of the few Dreamcast games actually that actually only remained on Dreamcast, you know, I think about that a lot. Most Dreamcast games actually sort of went to other platforms, you know. This can only be played on Dreamcast. And personally I think, considering the price you get as it, it's not that expensive. It's worth getting a Dreamcast and a game for this. Just have loads and loads of fun with. Considering I've talked about it so much, one thing remains in my mind. Why the hell haven't I done a Let's Play yet? One soon, I promise. Okay, so this is actually a game I've let's played, but I, uh, you should all know by now, you know, Rayman 2, I just friggin' love this yet, you know, uh, I really can't, I really don't know what to say beyond what I've already said, seriously, Rayman 2, fucking masterpiece, blast to play, I love you Michael Ansel, great, great game developer, I really hope Beyond Good and Evil 2 comes out soon and it's gonna be awesome, uh, yeah, Rayman 2, friggin' one of the best platformer games ever, and the Sega Dreamcast version is by far the best, you know, well, at least in my opinion, you know. Better graphics, better sound than N64 version, N64 version is still good, but this one just wins for me. So yeah, Rayman 2, awesomeness, yeah. God damn it, here's me just finished let's playing this complete beast of a game right here. And I have to talk about it again. Okay, okay, yeah, Skies of Arcadia, my all time favorite RPG. Wonderful game on the Dreamcast, and this music's a bit too epic for this list, isn't it? Ah, well, who cares, anyway. Uh, yeah. I really don't want to say anything. I've done 183 friggin' part let's play of this, okay? Go watch that if you want to know why you have to buy this. Yeah, Vise, uh, I don't know, Skies of Arcadia, just awesome, okay? I have to talk for at least one minute, okay? I don't know what to say. End of commentary, yeah. Skies of Arcadia, awesome. Bleh. Alright, this is sort of confession time here because I'm going against what I said in my top 10 3D platformers video by putting this above Rayman 2. But, I don't know, I guess I just changed my mind. I fucking love this game. Next to Sonic 3 Knuckles, this is actually my second favourite Sonic game. I just think it works that well. Awesome, awesome debut in 3D for Sonic. Just one game that I have played so, so much. The very first game I played on my Dreamcast actually. Oh god, I was so excited when I got this. Seriously, oh, it meant the world to me, it really did. Just loads, just again, like every other game in this list, just miles and miles of fun running away. Just a great Sonic game. Right. And number two. I'm not even friggin' gonna say anything, right? You all friggin' know, alright? This is my all-time favourite game, okay, and favourite on the Dreamcast. I guess I will mention that unless you live in Japan or Europe, you wouldn't have got this game on Dreamcast, you had to make do with a crappy Xbox version, but... God blessed me the day I was born in Europe, so I got this game on the Dreamcast. I guess it's just a personal thing that I like that version, but yeah, all-time favourite game, favourite on the Dreamcast, whatever. I'm just going to leave you with some footage and music, behold the epicness, and long live Shenmue, yeah. <laughs>